Welcome to another Halo Lore episode. In today's episode, we will learn more about the awesome ODSTs. The Orbital Drop Shock Troopers, commonly known as ODST, is a volunteer force within the UNSC Marine Corps, operationally managed by the Naval Special Weapons Division. ODST personnel are aggressively screened, and their brutal training program generally weeds out all but a handful of candidates. Early iterations of the ODST were created by the United Nations in 2129. By the interplanetary war in 2163, the role of orbitally deployed marine shock troopers had become a proper element of the newly founded UNSC Marine Corps. Since then, they have been a critical component of humanity's military power, particularly during the insurrection and the Human Covenant War, arguably second only to the Spartan Super Soldier projects. ODST are named and known for the notable method of deployment, a process called transorbital support interdiction. Much like paratroopers of centuries past, ODST are inserted directly from orbit into combat behind enemy lines. From here, the ODST are capable of cutting off supplies and communication while also actively flanking the enemy if necessary. Their drop pods, usually the standard SOEIV, single occupant exoatmospheric insertion vehicle, are launched from an orbiting naval vessel at the target, entering the atmosphere and breaking just short of impact. This extraordinarily dangerous method of deployment is one of the main inhibitors of personnel choosing to serve in the ODST, though it is also seen as an important distinguishing psychological characteristic among their ranks. ODST units are generally divided into fire teams of six to eight personnel and conduct direct action, unconventional warfare, intelligence gathering, long-range recon, and counter-terrorism missions. Hope you liked the video and subscribe for more cool upcoming Halo lore related videos. Thanks for watching. We're way off course. We're heading exactly where I need to go. But we're gonna miss the carrier. Radiation! Covenant just set off a nuke? No. The carrier's going to jump. It's a space 